Too loud. Too loud. Right. Turn me up. Kaba said, "Turn me up." What up, man? What's what up? What's what up? <clears throat> What's poppin'? What episode are we on? What is this? Uh, episode forty-two, three. That's forty. It's forty-two. Forty-two. <laughs> Bob's 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 usually on it, but I Bob's not here today. Yo, Bob's not here today. Juan's here today. Juan. Juan. Juan's here today. Episode forty-three <laughs> featuring Juan. <laughs> Juan, David, Juan. and Alex. That's right. Of the uh, Growing Pain Podcast. Podcast. Yes. yes. Is we it 43 or 42? We're going to get into some Growing Pains today. Uh, it's 40. I thought it was 43. Was it 43? We do have an IG page. Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are on it's episode... Horrible. Oh, horrible. What is it? 42. Oh, I thought it was going to be more. I thought I was going to say like 44. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, we're so, terrible. Episode 42. <laughs> Shout out to the listeners. Shout out to the listeners. Shout out to the viewers. Yeah. Shout out to the supporters. Absolutely. Shout out to the relationships. Shout out to the Shout relationships. Shout out to the relationships. You know what? Shout out. Yeah, there we go, Alex. Shout out to the relationships that we keep and the ones that we lose. Mm. Right? Absolutely. All relationships. Absolutely. I'm with it. Yeah. It's all lessons learned, right? Never lost yeah. his lessons. Lessons. Right. Oh, that's yeah. the type of vibe we're on today, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Juan came through. Juan's, Juan's here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Juan came through. It wasn't Juan's bill. It's Juan's bill. Huh? Nah, you weren't. Never mind. <laughs> what's, what's going on with you today, Juan? I'm chilling. All right. I'm chilling. You're looking, looking spiffy today? Sure. Yeah, I'm, ch- I'm changing the dress code for podcasts. Oh, we. we I, yeah. wish, I wish we had a text. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I lead by example. Okay. I show up, yep. and then uh, and then you guys, you guys will get hit next week, and then next week. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, somebody won't be here next week, but whatever. <clears throat> we can adjust that at a later. Right. Yeah, at we, a later. Oh, we're um, addressing it. Mm. We're addressing. It. We can adjust that. I, I don't. I don't like the whole uniform thing. I don't. You wear one every day. Exactly, and it's a problem. And it's a problem, and I don't like doing that. So now you're gonna tell me that I have to dress up on my podcast? You do it anyway. Yo. You don't like conforming? Yeah, absolutely not. You know to, that I don't. We all have to it's like to when something. HR fights when fight with finances. Which wait? Which one's HR? Of Juan. <laughs> Juan is definitely HR, dog. <laughs> Who usually wins that fight? Never. That's a good fight. That's a forever fight. It's a forever fight. I think finance would always win. Maybe. All right. Well, I said I'm just want to let you know I didn't like that idea. But anyways, yeah. Mm. But I, you are looking kind of spiffy today. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. I appreciate it. You want to tell the listeners why you're spiffy uh, up? Or? I mean, you should you should <clears throat> give yourself a round of applause. Yeah, 22 week course. You know, uh, it's uh, it was nonprofit management, so you know. Building networks with uh, other nonprofit leaders in the state of Rhode Island. So it was dope. It was dope. Learned a lot uh, about myself, about leadership. Leadership sucks. Does it? It's fucking terrible. And it, the, the, the ironic thing is none of us set out to be nonprofit leaders. Why does leadership suck? Because it just comes with... A lot of responsibility. It's not about you. Yep. Right, you can't just focus on yourself. You have people under you, or you have people who are watching your moves and following your moves, and so, <clears throat> like, See, that's I would say that's why it's great to be a leader, though. It is, it is in certain certain aspects, but like people, you know, people who 
deemed. I always said like I always said leaders can't can't self anoint themselves unless you're the king of PVD. Uh, but he's not. Oh, here. he's so, not. So glad you said that. He's oh, not here okay. today. He's not, he's here, not, today. Today. He's not here today. Right. He's not here today. So we can right. talk about him. Uh-huh. And you're so, right. but you know, leaders usually are appointed or anointed, so to speak, by the people. But you have a lot of people who say they're community leaders, but nobody's following them. Right. It's like, where'd you come from? And so I don't think it's a self-proclaimed title. I think it's something that just naturally happens if you're doing good work, wherever it may be. And so it's like you, you do the work because you care about people or you care about the mission of your, the organization you're working for. And then all of a sudden it's like, hey, you're a leader, am I? Well, people are following you. So let me say this. Leadership is not bad. Management is bad. Not bad, but management sucks. Yep. To manage people. Yep. The I think, administrative aspect of it. Yeah, 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 like just other people's problems, whether it's work-related or personal. It's yeah. like, oh, man. But leadership is fine if you're, if you're somebody that's uh, authentic about what you're doing. But the management part is tough. That's always like something that you have to practice and and try to come up with new ways because if you're managing multiple personalities and it's just yeah but you know well, congrats to you though appreciate congrats it. Thank to you. both being a Thank you. community leader adding another trophy to his trophy case I'm telling you dog what Trophies. you do bub Trophies. needs to be applauded every day thank you appreciate it every day dog just to have that drive to continue to care about people who don't care about themselves it's uh it's it's oh that <laughs> That's 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 something else, man. That's uh, you don't see like you having this kind of like you don't see what I see. You're like, no, you're gonna die. Huh? Okay, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a good person. Huh? Maybe. Okay, that's crazy. It's very crazy. Um, real quick, uh, quick R.I.P. to John Singleton. What? Yeah. Yeah, that was big, right? That one that came out. Yeah, I'm just like this. This is uh That was big. Fifty one. Fifty one. Fifty one. Yeah. That's young, man. Stroke. Yeah, that was big. We grew up on a lot of his movies. I grew up on all of his movies. Boys in the Hood was a, is a classic. Four brothers. Fifty one. What was he doing? What could he have been doing at fifty one, or not doing at fifty <clears> one? <throat> That's that's the scary part. Like fifty one. Fifty one. <laughs> that's twelve years from now. Bro. That's like so young. That's just like seventy eight, eighty three. Yeah. Fifty one. Just got your grades. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just got. Just really got your. I don't really give a fuck. Like I. Like he really like. I feel like after like 45, you really don't give a fuck. Like you start saying, like yeah. after 35, you start saying like, eh, I don't really give a fuck. Mm. But then like after like 40, 45, you're like, I really, mm. I really don't give a fuck. So like at 50, you, like he really didn't, like he, he's now pursuing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. Like that's mid, like, mm. you know, midlife. Like you're just yeah. like, that's all right, what's next? what's next? Yeah. What's next? What's next? What's next? That's that. What's next phase? Yeah, what's not up? this. Not that. <clears throat> but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's so young. That's very young. Rest in peace to him. That can't be a surprise. Quick yeah, question. Rest in Quick question. I asked the, the fellas. Boys in the hood and Menace to society. If you had to pick one. Menace. You're picking Menace? I think I'm picking Menace. I'm going with Menace, too. Ooh. I think I'm going with Menace. Ooh. Only, I, I, say, I say Menace because I've seen Menace to Society more times than I've <clears> seen, seen Boys, Boys in, in the, the Hood. Hood. Agreed. Yeah. That's why I'll say Menace. So maybe I'm judging incorrectly. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's all personal. I think Menace gave us, and it, so for the people, this is not a knock on Boys in the Hood or John, or John Singleton's legacy. I feel like Menace gave us a bit of everything. Like, you had the friend with the good father. Right? And, and both. Right? You had Trey, father, and mother in his life. Yep. You had 
Ricky and Doe and no but no father, just the mom. But Menace, you had you had you seen the grandparent aspect, right? The father, the Kane goes through losing both his mother and father. Um, and then you have uh, Sharif, who's Muslim, but you have his father who's not a Muslim. Yeah. And then you have like you just like it was. It seemed like storyish, movieish, yeah. just from a movie perspective. I'm not yeah. even I'm not even knocking. Yeah. I think they're both fantastic. I believe movies. John Singleton <laughs> probably had more intent in his delivery, just because yeah. he's that kind of guy. He's that and, kind of and guy. The message right. in the story. Right. The, the thing was when I went when I went to go. Boys see in the Hood was in your face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't trying to. Yeah. It wasn't sweet. No. It wasn't sugarcoating. Mm -mm. It was in your face. Yeah. This is what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what that, mm -hmm. I mean. That's what his his legacy was yeah. like. And so you have that kind of like good that like I felt like I was more of a a tray. Because yeah, I had, yeah, yeah. you know, but I had both parents in my life, but I had friends that were just in the shits. But my father or my mother was like, that ain't you. Right. But it was, those, both of those movies are dope, man. And, but John, John Singleton, man, made some, uh, made some classic films, man. Classic. That sucks, man. Classic. 51. I just seen something, too. I, um, Speaking of Boys in the Hood, Ice Cube was trying to buy some TV stations, and supposedly there's people trying to block him from doing it. Some white folk trying to block him from it. doing it. I believe it. I'm trying what, to. I'm we're trying, trying to TV stations. I'm, I'm trying like, to look it up right like now. Like Viacom? Is that even a thing? <laughs> I think it's still a thing. Let's see. Time Warner. I'm not going to go read through this whole shit. But Ice Cube just... is buying TV stations? The, the Ice Cube is alleged, alleging to buy cable companies. He's not saying what kind of cable companies. And um... Oh, he's not fucking what's funny, like what's funny, Time Warner. Like, nah. <laughs> people, don't, people, don't, people don't realize. Old money. Ice Cube wasn't a gangster. He fooled me. If you, look at, if you look at, if you watch the NWA movie, he, doesn't, he wasn't in a gang. Like they just they just did gangster rap, right? True. Then he was the create like he was like the writer for the for the crew, but he was never like no gangbanger. Well, if I seen him walking on the side of the street, I'm crossing the street. See really? Side. Yeah. Damn. So, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. You're crossing the street like <laughs> all because of the NWA, huh? Holy and shit. Boys in the Hood. Okay. Holy <laughs> shit, man. Yo, that's dope. Damn. Yeah, yeah like I can't. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'll be talking about myself. Like I just be like, oh, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, where where you going? Why are you crossing the street, dog? That's Ice Cube. <laughs> nah, just, that's dope. All right. Wow. I'm just saying, but okay. yeah, you know. but I I did see that. And I was like, yo, that's. I mean, I believe it. Hmm. But I don't know. I just wanted yeah. to throw that one out there. Yeah. I don't know if anybody else saw that. Yeah, I think that. I mean, no, nah, I didn't see. You I can't. Didn't, I didn't You're not touching the, old money. Stuff. You're not touching old American money, dog. It's just not nah, gonna happen. That's a staple. That's that's there to stay. It's just not gonna. Not yet. No. You gotta have way more interracial well, relationships. Yeah, <laughs> shit, what I just said. I think it's Disney who's selling off these companies. That, so that might yeah, be, which are being sold by Disney for ten billion. Yeah, so that's Disney saying, "Here, you can have this." Cube has that money, huh? Good for Cube. For real. Um. Yeah, man. That's weird. So yeah, so it's not just him. So it looks like, um, and I, I'm, this is just what I'm reading from. Oh, this. they're blocking a lot of people. Yeah, so it's not just him. Um, apparently, there's some uh, somebody called Charter Communications, which, uh, and also the Atlanta Braves owner. Oh man! So it's not just him. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you want to make with that, but just throwing, throwing that one out there. Maybe they're trying to keep the circle tight, man. Of course. You know. Keep a tighter mm. circle. Can't let outsiders in here. No, no way. No way. <laughs> and then I wanted to start the podcast off by apologizing to Jay Z for uh, my comments of last week. Uh oh. What were your comments? About his, uh, the price of his shows. Mm -hmm. And after seeing the clips of those shows, I might have paid that. He brought out Cam. And I'm not even a fan of Cam. Bro, now it's, gave Nas, let Nas do a set. He brought out Cam, and that was huge to me. And he Jimmy, brought out Cam. And Jimmy. And Jimmy. And Jimmy. And Nas. Were all of them in the building together? I thought Cam and Nas yeah, and Jay-Z, they, they, yeah, they, they're not like, yeah, they was all they're together. not vibing. 
And Jimmy wasn't vibing with Cam because Jimmy signed to to rock. No, Jimmy and Cam squashed it. They, no, but I'm just saying, like, just yeah. to have all that. Yeah, to, yeah, 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 yeah. Jimmy never like Nas. And, and I think Jimmy and Nas never, never like Nas. The goofy. Stop that. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Stop was him. never about it. And I think I think it was like we're in New York, right? We're opening Webster Hall. I'm this guy that has this bridge to bring guys together. Let me do it. Did he bring guys together? Or did he just bring oh, guys no, on I mean, stage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even even that, I mean, like just nah, to have that guys was, in the, I thought in that the was building. dope, man. That's I thought so that was super right. dope. Yeah. I thought that was super dope, man. I mean, I think he's going through something. Is all he? His, is he? Wor- something. Is it worth the the uh, three hundred now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Three hundred, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yes, the you too. I I, I would have paid for that. Yeah. I you would have been. That. You would have been happy after. I would have been after happy afterwards. after. Yeah. I you would have been like, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right. He brought out Cam. Yeah. And I'm not even a Cam guy. Yeah. And even some of the and to allow you know not to allow but like you you let Nas rock out. Oh, he let him rock out. He let him do his thing. Ain't hard to tell. Yeah. New York state of mind. Did and Nas, together. Na, and Nas rocks. Yeah, yeah. Was it just one show? It was just that Friday show. Yeah. Oh yeah, nah. That, it, yeah, because then he flew out for Saturday and did some other shit, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah he, right. went, he went he to was, uh, what was it called? The something Pharrell joint. Yeah. So yeah. No, nah, I, I think that I think that would have been worth it. Shout out to Skino, man. Like Skino said, that was dope. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Skino. Skino the crowd, man. like just the show, like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people. That's dope. I think Jay. Do you think JT was going through something? Yeah. Oh, has, is still going through something? Like what I mean he's, by he's 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 John Singleton's age, right? Like this is what yeah. I'm talking about. Like he's that he's at that age, so he's he's definitely transitioning. He's transitioning his ways, and seeing everything that's going around. Like it's like fuck. Yeah. So I have another theory. I I have a theory about people who are rich. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that they, you know, they they, they have to go through steps to get that kind of money right so you have to walk over people yeah. to get to a certain amount of money yeah mm-hmm. and i think that as they when they get to that 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 pinnacle it's like i right, i have to now it's it's time for me to, to to give back to to cleanse my soul of every bad thing that i did so do we so do we want to jump right into what I suggested? Holy crap. As All a, right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in as, as Alex, a topic. Was, Alex went deep. As a topic? Wow. All right. Because I think it leads right right into that, right? One yep. of, part of his verse to uh to uh Nipsey, right? It's yep. a, a, a freestyle verse or yep. a, a yep. tribute song. And it was and then <laughs> So this guy in the group chat, you always got to be him, right? <laughs> yeah. Nas been saying that, <laughs> right? And you're right. He has. And so crabs in a barrel, but crabs don't belong in a the barrel. They ain't never tell us that. Yep. But Wait, I didn't see that. That's the one you sent to us? No, but the verse, the whole verse was sent in the group chat. Is this it? is part of the verse. That. I didn't see that. The video Ev sent. Okay, okay, all right, all right. And that was part of the verse, and so... But he said, you know, we're going to act like we act. You know, we're going to stand each other on top. Uh, I'm paraphrasing now. We're going to stand on each other's back. And the one that's up on top is going to pull us out as long as they stay attached. And he basically said, I've been doing that. Has he? That's what, that's what he said. So now let me ask you gentlemen. Mm-hmm. We've all listened to Jay-Z our, our entire career, his mm-hmm. entire career. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Has he been doing that? Yeah. How's he been doing? I can't what? say. I can't say yeah. I can say yes. You can say yes. Okay. Ty, Ty. So you. So you're talking about your friends. Cam. He mentioned it in the song, right? He said Cam. Was it Cam or was it Dame? Beans. No, Cam Beans Dame. Was it Biggs. wasn't it Dame that brought Cam? In we all there? made millions. Dame. We all made millions. Okay. All right. We all made millions. We all did. Emery did twelve. Came home. The set. What's up? A mill. Seagulls. What's up? What's up, Emil? You're right. All right. All right. He can say that, right? Now he part can, he can say parts he can say of it, that. Parts of it look sketchy, right? People feel like he did he did everybody dirty. Like he did not everybody, but he did Dame dirty. What and we never really got the full details of what because neither one of them talk about what actually took place. And they shouldn't. I think that should stay yeah. where it is. And we and we feel like he did Beans dirty because Beans went to jail and they saying Jay never visited him. 
But like, I've always looked at it like some people you could it's perspective. So Beans was never his like boy. This ain't a guy I came up with. He was on my label. Mm. He was a business deal. The, Beans so, wasn't Beans wasn't on his label. They, they were riding for each other. Like I, I don't know if I, I mean, do, I don't know if no, I'm let you, I think it was more I, I think I don't was, know if I'm letting you get that one off. No, I think it was more beans riding for Jay than Jay riding for beans. All right, but okay. I'm inviting you to everywhere I go because I know you riding for me. That doesn't mean I actually ride for Come you. Come on, man. No. Come on, no. man. That's true. That's very true. That's, That's true. very true. But I'm but we riding together. That's very true. What you're saying is very true. What you're absolutely you, right. It could be absolutely one yeah, sided. Absolutely, you're, you're the absolutely shooter. Right. I'm bringing you with. Yeah. Right. Gun okay. shots go off. I run. You stay. You shoot. Yes. That's not. That's it. Uh, yeah. But if we're sharing drinks, if we're sharing songs, if we're sharing money, that's business. No. It's almost it, like it could be. It's like sports. It could be. I'm, We're sharing time. I got my time away from my family. I appreciate everything you've done for our organization. You got it us championships. Be, yeah. It's time for you to go. Yeah. Sorry. You could be of the business mind ooh, and look ooh, at ooh, it ooh, as, ooh. yeah, yeah. See. Okay. All right. I did what I could do for you. I put you on. I helped you start state property. Like yeah, you know I mean like. Yeah. yeah. Put Dame my boys that. on. But no, Dame did put, that. Put my boys on. But Dame did that. But there's no Rockefeller. Dame. If there's no Jay. But there's no Rockefeller. If there's no Dame either. Dame was the Dame is the vocal. He's the voice. Dame. It doesn't like nothing works without the voice. No. Who's the voice? I thought I thought we had to cut the voice. I thought the voice was too loud. To who? Leo. To them? Leo Cohen. To Jess. Yes. Yes, Leo. So, yo, the voice. The, the voice needs to. Come. We either, Leo Cohen. Either, either we shut the voice up. Leo Cohen was Jay's. Wrote like he was like his uh, mentor. Business yeah. mentor. And this is all speculation, right? right. Dame, Dame's the yeah, loud one. I don't one. know shit. This is the loud, Dame's the loud one. Way. And Leo is like, yo, if you want to get to where you say you want to get, you want to be white people rich, you got to lose this guy right here. So you're telling me to ex my, my, my guy that we came in together because he's, cause he's speaking the truth so that I can get somewhere. Isn't that where you want to be? And it might have been a conversation with Jay and Dame, and Jay might have been like, yo, Dame, you got to chill, bro. Like, what if we, this is your dream? We're trying to get here. Okay. All right. What if, all speculation. What if I don't your know dream? If this is true, yeah, absolutely. Right? Right? Keep going. Let's go. But like, let's, let's do it. Like, Kava, yo, chill, bro. Like, we trying, to, we trying to get white people rich. Nah, fuck that. I ain't letting the label take advantage of us. But yo, damn, not, not every time, everywhere we go, you got to be that guy. I'm, I'm that but guy. Because Dame is okay, still so that I, guy. So I but know. If I'm thinking the way that I'm thinking. Yeah. That's my man. Dave's my man. So if he's saying something, I'm not, am I not listening? Or am I just like... Money changes people. You're, you're trying to... Yes, but you may be listening, but at a, certain, at a certain point, would you change your perspective if the road that you're trying to get to... And I got it for you. I is got it being you. blocked between... And the only thing that's blocking that road... It's loud ass Dave. <laughs> my perception is, Dave, you're blocking my dream. Oof, that's tough. Now, my question to everybody is. And I'm not do, saying that's right either. Do you reanalyze what the dream is? Because you came in together. I think now that's what's happening. Right? Do you, re do you now say it was always supposed to be my dream? Or do, I, or do we say it was always supposed to be our dream? Well, well, I would assume that it's Rockefeller Records. It wasn't just you who mm -hmm. came up. It's the Growing, Pain po mm -hmm. Growing Pains podcast. So it's all our vision. Right. But if you look at it, if you look at Rockefeller, and you t well, let's talk about money and record sales. Jay was the only guy going platinum for a while. Actually, probably only one to ever go platinum as a Rockefeller. Artist. Right, until Cam, until Cam, Cam came up. Until Cam got there, yep. Right, and so... And, and it said that Jay only wanted to drop Reasonable Doubt and be out. He just wanted to be a, 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 a record label exec. He didn't want to be the artist. And so, damn, I got to keep, keep putting out music. I got to keep holding this down. It's me that's bringing all the, the, the publicity and the money in. Yeah, what about, not you, Dame. What about the clothing line, the sneaker deal? Was that, was that, I don't know. No, I don't, was I don't know. Jay? I think that was a joint, I think that was a combination of Biggs, Dame, and, and Hove. Yeah. But I'm what people want to see. 
Like, would you buy Rockaway if Dame was wearing it? If Dame was the... But, but you know that Dame was as big as Jay. Like, is that... I don't know. I don't am know, I wrong? I don't know if that's true. Like, if I'm, I think... I think... Uh, I, see, I see Dame as back office. If and, I, I, and I think the back off... The, the company doesn't win without the two of them there. You but, need the front office and you need the no, back office. I, and yes. But not to the public. I don't think the public is like, when I go to this concert, I want to know if Dame is... You're absolutely I correct. I want to see Jay-Z. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. And but, Cost is bringing the, re- the money, right. yeah. but not, that's, not record sales. But that's a flaw in the system. The public should really understand that there's a back office. But they don't. Like, my grandmother shouldn't be like, hey, can you can you give me this money because you work at the bank? <laughs> <laughs> but, they, but they don't. That's not how it works. Yeah. That's not how it works. You, you, know you can't give me like a loan? You can't give me exactly, a loan? Exactly, exactly. people don't understand that. Shout out to the bank. It's almost Shout like. To the <laughs> I, think it, I, I think it took a while for people to understand the music industry, like how much, like there's a song, like when D Smooth was here, Sykes, Danny Sykes, to, to lay out everything you laid out, like. We find out later that writers get a lot of money for writing songs for artists. True. Producers get a lot of money. That's the back office stuff that people now pay attention to in the music industry, but they're not caring about the record execs. Right, right. Unless, you, unless you are at the stature of a Dame, a Diddy, right? Because now I, I see those people, because those people are I'm even front. I'm even talking about, like, I think Dame was responsible for... Some of Jay's respect, uh, uh, some of Jay's uh, financial success. Oh no! I I think, absolutely, I, think, I absolutely do. I think there's there's moves that Dame was able to pull that were probably, probably yeah. impossible. Probably all him. That was probably all him. You know, what I'm saying money deals that were but revolutionary. Hip hop you know fans saying? don't pay attention. That's that's not the lore into the record right. label or right. to the music. Right. It's Jay. Right. But the lore is half of this. It right? is. There's work. We know that. Like there's like, luckily for Jay, he doesn't have to do this anymore, yeah. right? But there's writing. You but know I, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's there's back yeah. there's shit that nobody else sees that's yeah. fucking important. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. absolutely. That's way more important absolutely. than the than the than the 45. You only get 45 minutes. But it's easy. So if you if you're chasing there's hours if of you're work, chasing that dream, <laughs> if you're chasing that chasing that dream, you can. There's somebody coming in like a Leo calling like, you're the guy. Jay, you're the guy. People come see. Not Dane. Yep. You can do this on your own. Word? Do you do this? Word? No. No, I don't. Word? Alex? No, I don't. Do you, do you, I don't. Do you no, I don't. The... Word? We came in as a, we came Word? in to, we came in together, dog. Dame, I'll come back and get you. Damn. I have to. Damn, man. Did he come back and get him? No. So then. I don't know what happened. You're right. All right. So you're right. Dame's fine. I think Dame's fine. Oh, no. Dame is fine. Dame is fine. Sacrificial lamb. Is he fine? Was no. he bankrupt? Bankrupt he... means different to different people. True. Different yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Donald yeah. Trump. Bankrupt doesn't mean broke to those Files guys. for bankruptcy a couple times. Yeah. Those okay. are, I don't mean broke right. to those guys. All right. If I file for bankruptcy. 50 Cent <laughs> did it too. Yeah. If I file for bankruptcy, I'm staying right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, me Tiff, and yeah. the kids were ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's rough. Alex, we'll come, we'll, uh, open the door. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I think Dame's fine. No, no, I know he's fine. I know he's fine. That, that, that's. Is Jay fine? Is that what you're getting at? Do you think Jay's fine? You don't think Jay's fine? In what sense? Mentally. Um, I mean, I can't. I can only speculate, right? He's released an album for the last three years, right? Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. Or something. He's done something for the last three years. Yes. He's been busy. He's been busy. He's been busy. He's with done, music, with music. Documentaries. With a lot of shit. Yeah. Social been, justice stuff. Yeah, he's been busy. Which goes back to my point of what I started off with. Is I start to see people like that in a different so light. We talk, so we talked about this in the barbershop. And so there was a lot of heavy criticism on the Rockefeller breakup and what happened. And... The whole Illuminati thing, Jay brought out to the Illuminati. Oh boy, you couldn't. Blah, 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 blah. You couldn't. Right, and so I believe that shit one hundred percent. And so Jay's Illuminati. I I fucking believe oh, that. shit. Oh man, I'm excited. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm I excited. Believe, I don't think I, I I believe Illuminati is like untouchable people. I don't think Jay's untouchable. I mean, I, I, we can argue about this, but I, are there I, levels to Illuminati, or can you just, no, or, or, or once Illuminati. you just go in, you it's, go it's in, you're Illuminati. in. Illuminati, yes, yes. <laughs> Fucking love the Illuminati. <laughs> you don't think there's levels? No. You don't think there's levels? No. You don't think that if no. I started it, 
No. I'm going to put you on the same level as me. There's not a yeah. grandmaster? All right, in that sense. But I don't think there's like a, like, like we're putting you over. You're over here with these, like you're in. But I, yeah, I think there's somebody that's like, there. It's, 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 think of it in this way. It's a gang, right? Nope. And a gang. Nope. There's a leader. Isn't there a leader in the gang? I'll give that. But other than that, I think everybody else is on the same level. Do you think that um, El Chapo had like, it's like boards, some right hand right? man? Let's take let's take boards, boards of organizations. Okay, there's a vice chair of the board, which is the leader. Everybody else is board members. Okay, they all on. But now, but now you you, you, you got to think bigger because now we're thinking if we're talking about what the Illuminati is supposed to be, right? We're, we're thinking. What is it supposed to be? It's a. You think it's a board? Yes. It's a. It's the board. Yes. Okay. Oh yes, I like it. All right. All right. We're not doing this. <laughs> I don't like that. Because <laughs> when Kama starts to sit up like this. Oh, I like it. I like it, man. So, when Kama starts to do this. So. I like it. I like where we were going. All right. But no. So, we was talking about the, the heavy criticism of Hove and the career and what it looked like potentially being Illuminati, selling out, wanting to be white people rich instead of just being rich. Um, so I, I posed the question, can somebody change, right? Maybe he's at that age now, like, fuck, if I did all this, damn, I fucked up. Well, you know, the good thing about you is that you can actually say that people can change. Cause I've always asked the question about getting a second chance and he's always been on that side. <laughs> yeah. So you win. So yeah. like, am I at this age now where like, nah, shit is different. Like people I'm held in a high regard of like. You, you got money now, Jay. And, and I think the culture shift is happening where people are seeing black excellence, black lives matter, and, and seeing all this stuff publicly that's happening. I think, I think he's had a mental shift. Like, I got to, so I, I came, I went up, I got to now start coming back down and kind of helping people. And I think that, I don't know if that's uh, like, a, a, this, he, had an, he woke up one day and had this epiphany. <laughs> it was like, yeah, maybe I did fuck some people over. So that's some, that's some rich people shit? Yeah. That's some rich people shit. He ain't got nowhere else to go because he's too high up. So now he has to come down. So now I have to... And that's so not, people, people and that's have not said, knock. I've heard rich people, say, black people would say it's, it's not enough of us up here. It, is, it's, it right. doesn't feel good to just be the only one. And how do I, you know, how do... How do I get people to the status that where I'm at or help people get there? My, my fucking problem, my problem is, has always, when I said it last week about the ticket prices and him charging so much and me saying that the reason why I had a problem with it is because when I was conspiracy, Alex, I used to hate when people were of the culture, right? And they used to charge people. This is a struggle of mine with this podcast as well. So keep that in mind where they would be at these levels where they could help people, but you, you, you then charge people, right? For, for the, for your service. Mm. So I go back and forth with, with, with dealing with that because a, yes, I understand that you still, you still have to make a living in this world. Right. Mm -hmm. But B, where, where do you draw? Like, where's the sacrifice as to how are you helping other people? Like if I don't have money to go to this, this master class of yours to learn, how, how do I learn? And I look at you as, I don't know, an idol. Like, I look at you as someone who I should be learning off of. So you would hope. So say if I take that master class, I can afford it. Say if I can afford it. I should be passing that down. I shouldn't be like, damn, Alice and Kava, you can't, can't afford it? Tough shit. I'm over here buying houses and foreigns. <laughs> <laughs> Got Multiple my education, foreigns, dog. More foreigns, more houses. Damn. Got my binder. Yeah, what you guys doing? Now you can come over my house, but that's it. And that's, <laughs> and that's, and that's been my, and that was my issue with when I was talking about it last week about yeah. him charging so much. Coming from where you came from, mm -hmm. and being where you are, how do you have the audacity to charge that kind of price? Mm -hmm. And then, and then, in, in your the the little Nipsey freestyle, you talk about gentrify your own hood mm -hmm. okay well let's talk about that for a second 
How do you do that? What is the, how do you identify your own neighborhood? Like, how, how am I supposed to... Can I read the, the, little, the little thing I sent you guys? I did read it. I'll just read it for the people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Gen- it. so it starts off with gentrify your own hood before these people do it. Claim eminent domain and have your own people move in. That's a small glimpse into what Nipsey was doing. For anybody still confused as to what he was doing, the young king had a lot of jewels to split with me. And we ain't, gonna, <clears throat> we ain't got to leave the hood physically, but we got to leave that shit mentally. Now, I've seen quotes, like common, commentary on this. Jay-Z, you got the money to do it. I don't. I'm broke. I can't gentrify my own hood. I can't. I, can't, I don't have the power or the resources to claim eminent domain. But I think I think what he's saying is 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 right to in theory. In theory, yes. like we should we should gentrify on we should claim I'm with you. where where we're from and, and invest where we're from. But how do we I think what's missing here, and obviously it's just a verse. I think what's missing here is teaching people how to do that. So it's that class you're talking about, right? That that like where where are those teach show me those seminars, show me the people that started from the bottom. Yeah, you're one of those guys that kind of started from the mud. Yep. But you're here now. I don't see I don't see me getting to that level. Nobody wants time. to hear that. Everybody wants to say that they want to hear that, but nobody wants no, to hear that. No. Because if they wanted to hear that, they'll listen to Lupe. They don't want to hear that. I wouldn't listen to Lupe, but Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's gonna be the last time this is gonna be the last time on this podcast that you mention him and you I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be the last time you do that. Oh what? Alex, what are you gonna do? Don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Oh we're gonna talk about <laughs> it. We're gonna, t- we're gonna talk. And so They wanna hear the end result and then complain about the fact that they are not listening to the lesson. Yeah. But the reality is that the lesson is there. Mm-hmm. It's just that a lot of us are lazy. Mm-hmm. You know so, what I'm saying? A lot so of us are heavy hit on me excuses. With the, hit me with a quote or, or some commentary about Jay kind of causing gentrification in Brooklyn when he helped the, the stadium get built for the, new, uh, the Brooklyn Nets. And I was like, I can't agree or disagree with that. Right? It's all perspective. But I was taught a long time ago, sometimes you got to follow the message and not the man. Right? The lesson. There's a lesson there. And if you hear it, like, it's like the... It's like the uh, the OG that's on the block every day telling you, saying what you need, shorty, this, this ain't for you. Like, he's right. This ain't for me. But maybe, maybe I see, idolize you and see you as a role model and I see you hustling and selling drugs. I want to sell drugs. But his message is right. We can't, we can't deny the message, depending on your upbringing. Like, if you've seen your father sell drugs all your life and your mom's part of selling drugs, you see that as a way of life. Right. Right. But if somebody like me comes from a working family, idolizing guys on the block, which I did, and they're telling me this ain't the thing for me, that message is right. Because my parents are saying the same thing. And so I was taught, you know, sometimes you don't follow the man, you got to follow the message. I don't know what Jay-Z's message is. It's all over the place. I get, I get what he's doing, mm-hmm. and he's great at what, he's, at what he does. Yeah. He's the best at what he does as far as I'm concerned. But, uh... I'm detail oriented, I think. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I hear and I think that's my I think that has been my whole like when I think back about my whole Nas Jay Z thing, mm-hmm. it's never that I hated Jay Z because I always thought Jay Z was super dope. Like that's never been the case. Mm-hmm. But my whole Nas and Jay Z Jay Z thing is that Jay Z was very high level and Nas was very detailed. So it it allowed Nas to make mistakes. And so he was called out for making for growing, you know what I'm saying? He was called out for being a flip-flopper. Mm-hmm. Well, you just fucking grow, man. You know what I'm saying? You're a different dude now. Mm-hmm. Your, your growth turns you into, di- you have different point of views. Mm-hmm. But when you stay so high level, your point of view doesn't really change as much. You know what I'm saying? So you can really have a song like Never Change. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can have that song in your repertoire because that makes sense. Yeah, you, it's been very high level. You know what I'm saying? So. I, can, I understand that. You know what I mean? So from that perspective, I think that's, that's the perspective that, I, that I'm, I'm kind of rolling with Alex with is uh, what could be going on here? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Is, is there something that could be going on here? I like that perspective. 
I like that perspective because that's to, challenging, right? Because that's a, go to a bank. who knows. I'm nobody saying any anything yeah, about yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Just what could be going on? Because you you're right. He's entering a, a very interesting stage in his life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where now he's like, you know what, uh, Cam? Who cares, bro? Yeah. I don't care. I don't care how you feel. I don't care, bro. Mm-hmm. You you gonna do this or what? Yeah. This is the change. You're gonna do this or what? Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna invite Nas. Yeah. This is where I'm at. And this is where I'm at. Where y'all I'm like, at. y'all don't care. Come or don't come. Or not. Yeah. Or not. If you don't come, I'm going to knock $100 off those tickets. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, maybe not. Or oh, maybe not. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. I'll write another freestyle. <laughs> yeah. I got more songs. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I ain't, I'm not stressing about it. My yeah. dog, I'm just, this is where yeah. I'm at. And to your point, maybe, maybe he's a little bit there, but maybe he's also to the point where he's just like, nah, man, we got to. I, I, I need to give back somehow. And this is the way that I show that I'm in touch still. This is the way that I show that, that I'm that dude still. This is the way that I show that you still have to look up to me still. Mm-hmm. This, I'm going to still give you these, these hot freestyles fresh off the press. Mm-hmm. And I think, like, if you. And in true Jay Z form, like, that freestyle was in true. Yeah. We can ask anything we want further from him, but he's never given us. Anything but the best of him. And that's true Jay-Z form. You know what I'm saying? Like that he's not he's not gonna go down to the levels of what you have to read or what you have to do Absolutely, or yeah. what classes you have to take to be the next Jay-Z or whatever. Yeah. He's just gonna tell you, yo, you gotta get out, go out there and get it, because there's a lot of money out here to go out there and get. Yeah. And he's gonna say that in a very flossy, educated, uh 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 uh, uh, uh fancy, catchy way that you're gonna yeah. be like, yo, that was dope. Can we all get it though? Is there, a, is there that kind no. of money no. yeah. so that we yes. all, that there we is, all can get it? Yeah, but we're not all capable of getting it. Yeah. Why aren't we all I capable? I think there's more than enough money in the world. Well, I mean, that's a whole different crazy topic that I can get into, but we won't do that. But what I'm saying is you're asking if can we all get that kind of money. Okay. I, 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 I agree with Kabbalah, yeah. All right. I just don't, I just don't think, right, I think, I think we, we got to break it down into Jay, Jay's up there, right? High Absolutely. level. Absolutely. This makes sense. Even from, for me, being, I feel like I'm down here. This makes sense to me. I think the, the, it has to be a balance. Like, Jay, you're high level. What if it's the Illuminati who said, all right, Jay, you can, you can, go, you can go tell that. him. You can go tell him now. What if they gave him the, the, the go ahead to say? I don't even care to even think about the Illuminati. I really don't. <laughs> to say that he can that he can gentrify his own. Yeah. yeah. So, what, what do you mean? He couldn't say that before? No, he couldn't. What do you mean? Because you can't. You're part of my group. You can't do what you want. Not yet. I need you to. But to your point, he hasn't been gentri- gentrifying his own ne- neighborhood. I was joking. I was making a joke. Oh, I thought no, you were no, trying no, to say no, like he no, was. No, I was making a joke. Oh, yeah, damn yeah, it. Yeah, damn yeah. it, Alex. Yeah, I was making a joke. <laughs> I didn't get it. I was uh, too slow. But like, it's just, it, there's got to be. And in between, when we're, when we're talking about this, because I don't, I don't think as and maybe there's pockets of this somewhere. This is happening somewhere where people of color, um, and black people are, are gentrifying their own hoods. Maybe there, I I have. Like Atlanta's that. huge at yeah. that, right? But I don't know if there's ownership there. I just move. I'm thinking more ownership. I'm not just thinking about just moving into a neighborhood and renting. Yeah. A house. And maybe that's the start. Maybe we just we just move into one neighborhood, or maybe you start into a, a little neighborhood and you invest and you buy a house. And you do what with it? Meaning, you do what with that neighborhood? So you buy this neighborhood right now. What do you do with it? That's and that's my question that I keep. I'm thinking to Black ask. Wall Street, right? You start opening businesses. We start. We start. We start that particular uh, culture again, where we're supporting each other. Supporting each other in what Daily, way? Financially. Financially. So what does that do? F- what's that for the greater good of humanity? I'm not. With, I don't think this is about the fuck greater that. good. Fuck that. All right. Fuck humanity. that. This is for the greater g- the, good uh, of us as a people. Financially. I think it starts there. What about more? Do you care about moral? Do you care about uh, um, raising good people that know what to do financially so that the finances continue to pour in? Do you care about raising 
educated people. You're talking about morals, what, like well, whose morals? I just think financially it's very one-sided, right? Like you don't have you don't have you, stupid. You, it's think, very rare you have a stupid I, finance finance person, right? I think you so, start somewhere though. I, I don't think it's all. Do you start with finance though? I don't know if finance is where you start. Right, I think if we're all coming into a, in an agreement that this is the type of community we're, we're we're gonna create, I think there's already this. That's not stupid people. I don't think stupid people are walking in and say, "Hey, we're gonna buy these houses, start these businesses." Exactly. So that's why I'm asking, where where do you start, right? Because you don't start with, what does that mean? I guess I don't know what that means. What does that mean, to say? Uh, gentrify your own neighborhood mm. or invest in your own hood. What is that? What 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 would be? What would what would a kid from from Southside and hear from that? What, what what do they think that that means? I think you have to show them examples. I don't think you. I don't think. Verb, I don't think verbatim talking about it will give anybody any like. I don't know if you told me. If you gave me all mm. the language that goes with gentrification, I don't think. I don't think for me anyway, writing it down on a piece of paper, this is how you do it, would, would mean anything to me unless I believe that there's, it's, a, it's a possibility. And so when you look but at... But if you know if you, that... If you, look at, if you look at like this small pockets of communities that support themselves, yep. South, Southeast Asian communities support themselves. So there's pockets of it. I think you build from there. Whatever that looks like and however they created that, I think you start with a, that template and build from that. That's just my answer. I don't know. But we don't have those communities here in the U.S., right? Like, we have the uh, Mormon community, and we have the... Um, Southeast Asian community? We have those here in the U.S.? We have the largest Southeast Asian population I didn't in know that. the country here I didn't in Providence. Know. I did not know Do that. Do we? Yeah. Fun fact. At one point, we did. We have the first Asian monk temple on Hanover Street in That's the U.S. That's true. Oh, nice. That's nice. true. I didn't know that. So All I right. think there's pockets. I'm not saying that's gentrification either, but there's pockets. But how do you do that? I guess, so how do you do that? There's pockets of segregated community. And I, segregation is not a bad thing. So what does he mean? And this is, this is, this was, I'm going into what's free a little bit, but, yeah. <laughs> but what does he mean by that? So, so if, if I'm, if I'm saying, okay, that's a cool, that's a great line. Mm. It's great. How do I? What do I do? That's and that was my. That was oh, my what does it look like? Or or thing. or how does that? What's the template? Or In my how? Head, that's where it starts. That whatever the Asian community has created is a start for me. In my head, I could be totally off. But that's not one sided, right? Because now, because now we have to look at the Asian community and figure out what makes the Asian community. And one thing that's very distinct about the Asian community mm -hmm. that they really don't seem to give a fuck what you think about them. We are a very emotional culture, right? Like, we, we kind of do give a fuck. Absolutely. And I don't know if that's true if that they don't give a fuck. They don't seem to show it. If they do, they ain't showing you about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're gonna continue, they're gonna keep it moving for real. For real, they're gonna keep it moving. Well, They're got, not gonna stop and be like, "Hey, wait a minute, what'd you say?" You got the, you got the, you got the American-born Southeast Asians, right? Who could tear that whole community apart, which they did in certain aspects because of gang culture. Yeah. So I think, I think it's, I, I, I think that history. I think there's just there's one that's got to be a history lesson. I don't know where it stops. To be honest with you, I don't know where it starts. I don't know how we begin to work in that way. My first thought was investment. Where do you think it starts? How does that, how does that start? I don't know what that looks like. <sighs> Neither do I. Communities okay. happen. Jewish communities happen. Own schools. Yeah, they got a lot of measles, I heard. It's a measles outbreak. <laughs> No, that wasn't that wasn't a shot. I really was just listening to a podcast where they were talking about they got okay. I don't disagree with you. That's what I'm just saying. Dude. I don't know how that applies, but whatever. because you mentioned it, and I was like, oh shit. Because I mentioned Jewish people. Yeah. Okay. Hasidic Jews. Hasidic Jews. Yeah, right. That's correct. Vaccines. <laughs> oh, Anyways, yeah. Going back to <laughs> topic at hand. Yeah. Um, yep. 
Yeah, I don't know. Um, and I think, so it was a small glimpse of what Nipsey was doing. And I think Nipsey was investing. That Perfect. That's what it looks like, right? Mm. That's what it looks like. And the mentality has to change. That's what it looks like. Right? He said it at the end, we don't have to leave the hood physically, but we got to leave that shit mentally. Hoods are bad places. Agreed. Which is to why who, I was, though? Which is why I to, have always... To, to me, right, people love their hood. Like, I rep my oh, hood. I see, love my you're, hood. You're taking me somewhere where I wanted to actually go. Yeah. This whole... I don't understand why we do that. Why do we do that? Why right. do you think that we rep our hoods? We don't own these hoods. So why do you think that we do it? Community. Yep. That's where I'm Is from. It? Tribalism. Pride. Okay. Pride. I'm happy of where I'm from. I'm proud of it. But why? When, if we really look into what our ancestors were doing and how they were migrating and they never stayed in one spot. I'm not attached but to But they that. were still committed to a, cry, a tribe. Tribe, yeah. Right? Yes, to themselves. It wasn't, it we wasn't, don't migrate anymore. This is where we so moved. So this is our tribe right now. This is where we moved. It's where we planted. Okay. All right. But outside perspective, and it could be many perspectives, is that like the people that, le- like, I'm leaving the hood for good. I'm not coming back. Bye bye. It's in the rear view. I'm not coming back. I saw that as a bad place. I want no parts of it. Yeah, but there's some people that are like, nah. Absolutely. Because you're going to get your, yeah. your mixture. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've, I don't understand the whole dying for your block. I've never have. I'm not willing to die for the block at all, ever. I never understood. I don't That's give different. a fuck about any piece of land in the United States of America. I don't give a fuck about any piece of land and or water. And when I say that, not that I don't give a fuck in polluting it. I'm very careful and not in, in being fucking green. <laughs> 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 but I really do not rep or give a fuck about repping anything any single piece of cement or glass of water. I, 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 I really don't give a shit about that. That's what I was however, say. however, I really do care about the people that yeah. live yeah. in I think, certain I think that's it. tough it's, situations. It's tribal. Like dying and for I, the block is not so much like I think, I think that's mer- metaphorically like speaking. Like I'm dying for the block only because of the people that are on this block. That rep it with me. Yeah. The tribal. The yeah. tribe. I'm willing to die for the tribe, but as the tribe, we stand on this block and this is where we live. So I'm willing to, I will say I'm willing to die for the block, but it's necessarily I'm willing to die for the people that I run with. I'm with the people all day. Yeah. And I'm, but, with, I'm with the people I'm, getting I'm the not, fuck out of there. I'm not. Fuck staying there. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm the not. Fuck out of there. Bro. I'm, but I'm not. So I would, you know, backtrack that. I'm not dying for the, the people I'm, either. I'm, I'm not dying for not not for not for like because you got because I'm I from may one die block for my you're people. From another block. <laughs> yeah. No, but what I'm saying is I'm not willing to die because I'm, I'm riding with Kaba and Kaba got beef with Alex and Alex's crew. No. Nah, man, no. I'm Damn, not on that Kaba, time right now. You getting shot at, bro? I'm not on that time. Damn. Oh, I'll be in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Game of Thrones on Sunday. You come running up to my house to, to the door like yo, bub, yo, they just shot at me. Okay, stay out there. Yeah. <laughs> My family's in here, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. stay out there. Yeah, man. Nah, Wish you luck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a tough place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough world. It's a yeah. tough place. I'm sorry. But I, th- I think it's, um, yeah. I mean, the line, because I've been, you know, the line for leave the, leave the, we ain't got to leave the hood physically, but we got to leave that shit mentally. Um, uh, I've been not saying that exact line, but I've been Wait, don't, wouldn't it be the other way around? No. Why wouldn't it be Because he's talking way? about investing and in re- in gentrifying your okay, own house. Right, okay, that's right. You're right. Um, Is it good for Jay-Z to say, say shit like that? It's not bad. I think it's very good. I think it's awesome for him to say shit like that. It's great, yeah. I think that he should be saying that. I think he should I think be he should have been saying that a long time ago. But you, again, you got to- Mentality, think- though. But if your mentality's not there- I guess my mentality has been different. You're not going to rap about something that you could... Like, he was so focused on being rich. 
which goes back to my point as to something happens with rich people is you focused you were fo- so focused on this dream that you wanted that you had to do whatever you had to do I to get there. I believe it's lonely being rich. Is that a problem? What? Lonely? That he has, that he, uh, I think loneliness is a problem. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen, we've seen <laughs> suicides. Say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think, I think that shit is a problem. I don't think having goal, goals is not a problem. No, having goals is not a problem. I, I, and everyone I, should have goals. And I should not, I don't think I can knock you for whatever goals you may have, unless it's out here just obliterating people like Thanos. But, but <laughs> um, yeah. By the way, I haven't seen Endgame, so shut up. All right. All right. Uh, we were talking about it too before the podcast. Good, we were, we were. good. Before I got here, before you got before here, you got here. So, thank you. you got Appreciate here. you guys. I guess we can't talk about it then. Uh, no. All right, all right. So does that does that answer all the? I think it was important for Jay Z to say that. Of course, I mean, I think I, it was and, dope. I have my questions, and I think those are valid questions, man. Yeah. I think those are valid questions, man. I definitely do think that Jay Z should be saying that. He's the person that should be saying that. Yeah. As, uh, he's in that position where he can shine light on shit. So let's talk about why people, do we think people didn't pay attention to Nas? Because you, you always bring it up, right? You always say, and I believe you. He's very detailed. Nas goes into, Nas is a storyteller sometimes. Dog, I own flats in other continents. It's very, he makes you think. It's like, yo, what? When he said uh, that, what? I said, huh? What? <laughs> flats. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, like I, I wanted to be like Nas. What kind of money do you really have? Bro? Exactly. Like, he makes you ask different like, yo, questions, like, man. It's just like that's why I was like, what this, is that? He's not broke. What do you mean? Not even close. What do you? mean? There has to be more to that. He makes you see more. He makes you go out and research. Google Earth, Nas. I got flats and other kinds. Yeah, it's cra- It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. So that's who, that's, said, who says that that's, anyway? That's, like, that's, who says that? Lupe doesn't say that, but. <laughs> Pow, 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 Keep it going. Pow. Keep it going. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna start hitting but, you with some fun facts. Oh, I, like, oh, I love do it. we? Do we? Is it our own perception that we don't believe people are listening to Nas, or it's just because it's our own circle of people that we like? You guys wasn't listening to Nas because he was saying he'd been saying. This. I think it's too much. I think some people see that as like I love that. Right? I love. I, I would I, say, I I, would yeah, say, I love yeah, when that. I heard I, that, I love, that was amazing to me. Yeah, I love the amaze a part oh, of it. Fuck. Like, who says that? Who are and you? now, why are you making me research this shit? Yeah. Like, why are you making me do this? Like, now I'm spending time out of my life to do this. You know what I'm saying? No, like, maybe like, who are you? Yeah, and now there's a different part of you that's not being shown. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always, I always, I, I like the way he moved. He seemed very non-egotistical, which I, which I appreciate. For me, it was like... I don't like egos. He's that guy in the back of the room, right? He's in VIP, but he ain't saying nothing. He's not standing on the couch. He's sitting down. He's chilling. A couple chicks around him. I think that's a perfect analogy. Chucks the deuce at everybody when he walks out the club, daps everybody up, and just leaves. That's it. Before the night's over. Right? Because all the people that want to be noticed stay right. the whole night. On the couch, popping bottles, drunk, throwing money on girls, mm-hmm. dumping. Yeah, you know I mean, just, just crazy out there. Nas is that guy that was in the VIP, his own section, two chicks, drinking. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I'm out. I appreciate that. I notice guys like that. I'm like, who, who, who is that guy? Yeah, he's here every week. Yeah. Like we're here, but he's that. I think he's that. He's that guy. Yeah. I can never identify. I can never identify with the flashy, witty. Mm-hmm. I never was that guy. I'd rather play the back. But I think the, the the reason why Jay was so appealing to most, especially people in my circle, because we was around guys that were kind of like Jay. Yeah. Flashy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Money, cars. Yeah. Not so much the jewelry aspect. I did, I wasn't around a lot of guys who wore iced out chains and stuff like yeah. that. No, but like they had the money. Yeah, the lifestyle. Yeah. But they had the lifestyle. And you're like. He's like Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncles, my cousins were like. That. I didn't have any Nas's cool. around me. Everybody that I know was like. But that's what was cool about it. That's see, that's the appeal. I yeah. think to me was mm-hmm. is that I had way more Jay Z's around me than I had Nas's yeah. around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I never had any Nas's around me either. You know what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't, I never had a deep thinker. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The bums were the deep thinkers. Like, I didn't have 
anybody else that yeah. you know what I'm saying it was either bums or crackheads that were like mm-hmm. all right that sounds pretty deep yeah <laughs> and that was it I mean the only thing that was around me was like my grandparents yeah, and, my yeah and, and then your grandparents right so said that shit but I don't you didn't hang, really have hang around my grandpa yeah hey, you didn't have a a a a, a, a a 16 year old around you talking about I'm half nah. God, half amazing. Like, nah. what are you talking about, dog? Like, what? Nah. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. You don't know what you're talking So, that was different. You wanted, you wanted more. Yeah. Just like you said, like, yo, there's more to this. Yeah. There's more to this. Mm-hmm. Whereas you, you saw Jay Z every day in your life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You knew what was there. So, it was, and I get that perspective. You know what I'm saying? I get that because. I could, I could see that in my own family and want to see them grow and want to mm. see them be successful. You know what I'm saying? And I, but I was never that dude. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I didn't know how to emulate that. Like Nas, for me, would be the guy that would tell me something deep thought and reflective that I'm not going to get right now. I'm not going to understand it. I'm not going to pick up on it right now. Jay's going to say some stuff that I'm going to be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Word. Yeah. I fucks with you. I don't know what he said over there. Yeah. But as as you get older and mature, it's like Nas has been speaking that shit for quite some time. And he's in a lot of people in our our range is top five. So that that, that always shocks me a little bit. That that he's still in that top five, but he wasn't. That we react to when Jay Z does things like that. But, mm-hmm. you know, Nas has been doing it for a little while. And that's not a knock to Jay Z. Yeah. Not, I'm not knocking anything. I'm just, you know, being observant. But then again, I guess that speaks to my mindset as to where I, I've been and I have mm-hmm. been for a long time. Is that's the shit that speaks to me. But you're, you, have a, you have a Nas like persona type personality, laid back. You don't want to be. Absolutely not. Front, front line. You know what I'm saying? Right. In the limelight. And so I think that that is a reflection. Right. Very good way of putting it. Yeah. Very good way of putting that. I'd be thinking sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Guy. My guy Juan. Juan. Juan's Juan. in the building. Juan. Juan's you in the building in. today. <laughs> hey, you, you should come. You came to you should come every Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. You should be here every yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> we like Juan. <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> He's very, oh, very shit. Pre- <laughs> oh, yeah. Which is their different perspective. Yeah. yeah. What's up? Yeah. No, I, I, yo, I fucks with Nas, man. Nas is no. The, listen, the reason why I call Jay Z the goat is he really convinced everybody that Nas really had one hit album every ten year average. That's nuts because I went back because I when I thought that we were gonna have that Nas versus Jay Z battle on this podcast, yeah. I went back and I did some research. Was like Jay Z, he he really convinced me. So guess yeah, what album? Yeah. I, guess he, what he album? convinced me. Yeah, you guess forgot. What? <laughs> you forget about everything. You start <laughs> counting. You're like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Oh, he had two in one year. He had I Am and uh, what was the other one? He had two in one year. I think he had, like... I was like, yo, what the fuck? Is, what, Il- what was Il- Jay-Z talking about? Illmatic. Nostradamus. Illmatic. Nostradamus. I didn't like Nostradamus. I liked I Am. I like Nostradamus. I love I Am. Yeah. I figured you would. Yeah, I like Nostradamus. I don't even know why I said you figured you would. I don't even. Because I, I don't like it. I don't, it's one of my last <laughs> yeah. favorite Nas albums. Like, it's probably second to last, but I like Nas. But I'm Nas. like, yo, like, Nas probably has one of, Illmatic's a classic, theme classic, already stamped. But it was written probably one of the best sophomore albums ever. I like it was, it written. was written better it was than written. I like Illmatic. I, li- I like it Me too. written more. Me too. Yeah. So he's got two right there. Boom. He got two already. Out the gate. Yeah, out the gate. <laughs> Done. 94, 96. Done. That's why I thought about it when I was listening. So I was like, yo, damn, Jay-Z. So they, there was a meme. So the Jay-Z and Nas battle was like arguing with a girl. You hit the girl with, with so they said you hit the girl with facts, which is they're saying takeovers and facts. And she comes back with insults. And the insults mm. is ether. Mm. Can I ask both of y'all a serious question? Absolutely. How do you win in a fight? Do you win by the way that the fight looks and the way that the fight pans out, or do you win by who gets beat up? Who gets beat up? Absolutely. Right? Who got beat up? So, like, so if we, so if nobody gets knocked out, we fight. Nobody gets knocked out. Yep. You punch me. Yep. I don't bleed. Yep. So I punch you and I bust your lip. You, yep. you look worse. I won. Yep. Yes. I, won. I got. I look like I, I got beat up. I won. Who got beat up here? Jay Z did. Okay. Mm. 
overwhelmingly. Are we saying Jay Z did not get beat up? No, he got beat up. He he even admitted to it. Like he said, Ether. The reason why I don't like this argument is because everybody says Takeover is a better song, which I completely agree with. Ether may not have been a a good song, but Takeover Takeover wasn't a direct hit at just Nas. But there wasn't a direct hit against Nas ever. It really wasn't. So who? Won this fucking battle. <laughs> Nas gave a whole That's, song. You're right. You're right. Say so I was gonna say takeover. Lon, then, Nas landed more punches. If we're going Nas to the box won score, the beat, to me, like if that's, we're going to the box score. He he landed the most. Punches. I'm looking at it as a boxing match. Like I don't I don't. That's see, what I'm saying. But the scorecard will give Nas takeover. The win. Had some hard punch lines. Like some what? Hard, like one hit album every ten year average. Even though it wasn't true. And that's so he sure lame. the fucking he could. Yo, he convinced a lot of people. Um, what was another one? See, that sounds like the female aspect of the argument that you were saying earlier with the mm. facts and the theories. Yeah. <laughs> like, now you're saying shit just to make me believe shit that's yeah. not even true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Nas, Nas had the insults, right? Nas had the he insults. He got whistles like a rat compared to Dean's whack. And you let... You know what I mean? Like... Yo. He did take Nas's. You're right. You might, you might be right. Took now he took Dead Presidents and made it a hit song. You made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. verse. I made it a hot song. Yeah. He did that. He did do that. <laughs> he did do that. <laughs> that was fucking facts. <laughs> he did do that. He did do that. I think I think what happened to You can never deny that either. Like that's not a yeah. deniable fact. Yeah. Like, like True. when they that that like, yeah, True. you did you that. Got me, you, you got me. You got me. You did that. But it like for me, like it was like I was fighting so hard, especially at that point. Like it's whole. Like you like you like to eat the joint. <laughs> Fight me then. <laughs> and so that's crazy. But for Jay to be to Jay to openly admit, he said, "Ether hurt me." Like he said, everywhere I went in New York, they're playing this shit. That's why he allegedly did what he did in Summer Jam. Like, Nas was going to come out and do some crazy shit on the Summer Jam. Oh, that's still my favorite. When he went to Power 105 and... Yeah. Oh, that's, that's still my, one of my what favorite happened? things. What happened? What? When he was going to hang Jay-Z yeah. with, oh, with the... Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. And he right. couldn't do it, so then right. High 97, so he went to hot, uh, Power 105 and... That's right. I still remember that fucking... And so... Now I was just going for the, like, he was going Game of Thrones yeah. with this shit. <laughs> yeah. What's an award? Yeah. What's an award? Yeah. Who gives a fuck about an award? I love that. And then Jay, and, and so, like, Jay did multiple tracks. I think that's when it's like, gotta stop. Even though the Blueprint 2 was tough. It was a tough track. That was, yeah. that was more, that was that yeah, Nas. That, that was, was the whole thing was Nas. Yeah, that was tough. It was tough. But it was like Ether was so overwhelming at that point. It was too much. It was. It was like, t- Blueprint 2 was still ba- a banger, oh but it's like, well, take this track, Jay, but you lost already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean. It's good that you came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Definitely good. Yeah, it's good Definitely that you came good. back. It's good that you came back. He started doing studio freestyles. Yep. You know. Those were tough, though. Yeah. Those were hard. Uh-oh. Those were tough, man. <laughs> Got myself. God. That's another thing that felt like a win for him, right? Is that he didn't stay out of your, out of your face. Nah. He was in your face for a fight while. Me, dog. Yeah. Like, come, come. We got to yeah, fight again. Yeah. We got to fight again. And I'm going to make other people. Yeah. Okay. It's like, I'm going to have an army, a visible yeah. army against yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> so it seemed like there was an industry of dudes just <laughs> waiting to, for Nas yeah. to come outside. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going nowhere. <laughs> Didn't it? For a minute. Uh, but for probably, a minute. Those dudes are probably like, Jay, yo. Like, chill, yo. That's Nas, though. Nah. <laughs> Jay's like, Nas is no. like this big. Like, yeah. Jay's like, no. They're like, yo, but Jay, that's Nas. Just, no. Nah, fuck no. that. No. As soon as he comes outside. As soon as he comes outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were on the radio is screaming it, it. Is it Uchi yeah. Wally Wally or is it one mic? Is it black girl lost or shorty owe you for ice? As soon as you come outside. Yeah. <laughs> I've been real all my life. They confuse it with conceit. Like, Jay was like, man. Yo. Yo. It was mad. You was like, Ether? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. Jay was like, I won't rest to you on one knee. You want war? Then it's war. It's going to be, nigga. That was a good song. 
Oh, it, it, was, yeah, it was. Thank tough, you. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It was, that it was, was that was a good song. It was tough. It was a good song. But it's like, well, <laughs> after you listen to it, like, fuck Jay Z. <laughs> 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 let me go listen to this ether again. Yeah, yeah, let me go listen yeah, to this other shit real yeah. quick. But I think he Nas, Nas mentioned some stuff on what was it? Was it the Lost Tapes? Last real, uh, realest nigga alive. That's uh, still mad. No, after Stillmatic. What's after Stillmatic? No, that's on Stillmatic. It's either Stillmatic or Lost Tapes. No, I don't think that's Lost Tapes. It's Stillmatic. It's, it's Stillmatic or it's what, the double one album. That, the one that came after that one. I don't think it's on that. I think it's on or Godson. Godson. It's Where on Godson. Do? It's on Godson. God, yep, Godson. Yep. Still, let's talk about Stillmatic. Fucking still dope. Still. Fire. Still. Fire. Still. That nigga uh, album. Fire. I went, I had to, so Boo, shout out to Boo Hackney, said, Bub, listen to it. I went back and listened to that album. I was like, whoa. Like, all that shit is relative to today. Mm -hmm. To today, what's going on today? I was like. It's out of control. Who says that? <laughs> who says these things? Lupe. Hmm. Mm. How much time we got left? <laughs> We're at a minute and 11 seconds. Good. I'm sorry, an hour and 11. But damn, I just fucked that whole oh, shit up. Yeah, One say. hour and 11 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had a minute and 11 seconds I thought we had a whole left. segment. Yeah. Damn. Lupe. This guy. That was good, man. We spent a good... That was a good... That, that, was, good. that was good. That, that was, was good. good. That was good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Shout, out to, shout out to... Uh, to the people doing the bridges out here. Which ones? All over Rhode Island. I mean, they got to do something without tax dollars. <laughs> what have they been doing since they haven't been taking care of our bridges? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. All right. yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> oh, it's man. growing pains, right? Yeah. I, just, I just want to mention yeah. some of the things that I've been seeing, man. Yeah. What else have you been seeing? Aside from the bridge workers, uh, they have been doing a lot of bridge work. Yo, I think Rhode Island was third in the country. Worse, Wor I go over a bridge all every day. Every day, every day. That just scares me. That yeah, it should. <laughs> it should. <laughs> that bridge sucks, dog. That, that, that bridge is whack. That shit's about to go down. <laughs> every time you go over, <laughs> and you know you're going over whack. the bridge. This shit's gonna fall one day. Yeah. How do they make bridges? Like, what? Do, I always think about what can you do? What do you mean? Once you're on the bridge, you're on the bridge. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I just hope I never break down on that shit. What do you mean? Break, if I'm in a car, that my car breaks down. What, I'm what, just hoping that what I'm What are you going to do? Push it. I'm pushing that bitch. Push it. <laughs> what if you're on push the bridge? Yeah, you got to push it. Ah, push it. Yeah. You push Listen, it. if I'm in the car, you're like, put, put it on neutral. This. Put it on neutral and reverse, yeah. reverse off of it. If you look at me, we get stuck on that bridge. It's going uphill. You nah, out. Reverse, out. nah, reverse back, back, back up, <laughs> back up. We're back. Oh, I walk bridge. it off and I, and then call for help. Like, yo, I'm stuck on the bridge. Can but you help? But if the bridge is falling, it's falling. You're going. I've always thought about that with tunnels. Like if it collapsed. If, nope. If you're if you're stuck like in like uh like <sighs> the, those New York tunnels are like <sighs> two lanes. Yeah. And those two lanes only. So if you're stuck, how do you get out the that car? That whole lane is stuck now. But how do you get out the car? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. How do you get? How do, how do you get it fixed? <laughs> Who comes? Who comes? Who comes? How do they get? How through? do they get? How do they get there? How long does that take? Oh, uh, and you're not supposed to honk and you're in, the, in the tunnel. You're the asshole because your car. So everything down. is dark. You're in this tunnel do you for break, hours. You gotta. You definitely break out into a sweat. You panic. Oh, I know. Phone I doesn't work. I'm like, fuck. Do electric cars break down? In tunnels, they must, right? I would hope not. Hmm. If you're if you're running out of like electricity. Oh, that's right. Because you're still running. Out, you're still running on something. Damn. Maybe you have a little bit of gas reserve for the for the uh, for the tunnel. Jesus Christ. I always wondered. Tunnels the, freak me out, the, the man. Cars. Like tunnels freak me out. It's like, hurry up. Get, let's get through let's this. Just, let's just go. Let's just I go. Feel over bridges. Just go. I, I start to dip when I'm on a bridge. Oh, that's how I feel about tunnels, man. Like, just get me out of here. I always. I, get, I can't see what's going on. I am in the farthest lane <laughs> to the edge. Like on a I'm, bridge. Yeah, I'm not over there. 
I, I almost felt I almost felt like the the bridge is gonna collapse on that side. I don't first. mind too much. I don't much. know why. Don't go to upstate New York. I thought I was gonna die. Word. Off of a mountain. All you see is nah. death. Nah. <laughs> when you're driving on the street. When you mountain. see the movies on them and you see like certain car commercials, you see them on them narrow roads there's, on the there's an eighteen wheeler right, right next to you. I'm beeping. Not, if, rain. If GPS brings me that way, I'm not going. How else you getting there? If you live if you live somewhere over there, Alex. Rain I almost killed everybody in the is car there. <laughs> Is there, like, is there a helicopter? Yeah, like, and I didn't mean? care. Like I knew I was gonna. Like I was like, yo, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's about to. Go Listen, down. if I'm on the inside lane and you're on the outside lane, you might die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not getting too close to the wall. This is your bad. Yeah. This is your bad. Yeah. I'm not getting too close to the wall. Right, really, right, really solo. That's that's right. Fuck all that. Mm. Fuck all them hell, bridges, tunnels. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like any of that shit. I don't like any of that. Planes, boats. It's trying to get me to go on this uh, this yacht party down there in Mexico. Yeah, go to the yacht. Nah, yeah, do that. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah. So somebody's nah, not gonna be here next week. Alex, do that. I mean, I'm gonna talk shit because I'm not gonna be here on the uh, 12th. Yeah, you're not gonna be here the next week. I don't know when you. Wow. I'm telling All you, right. I don't know when he filled this this day off. Wow. When you put that request in, I didn't get that one. Like last week. Bub's not leaving. Juan's leaving. Like last week. So Bub's gonna be here. Let's he talk. Might. Let's talk about that for a little bit. He might. What? What? Are we? Are we potting? Next week, me and you are I definitely. Don't, potting. I don't see why not. We're definitely potting. Okay. Leave the keys. Okay. Okay. Right. We're definitely potting. We're, we're gonna have fun. Come, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a blast. Yeah. What's he yeah. talking about? Leave the uh, debit card to the budget. Too. <laughs> <laughs> why? What are you? What are you blowing it on? Oh, uh, you'll you, 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 you hear it while y'all it's, it's not. It's not gonna be blown. Like it's not. Like it's. It's gonna be. We'll say. We'll get. We'll submit receipts. The tax. Purposes. I can't. I can't wait to listen to this. I'm gonna right mm. now. It's gonna be great. Mm. I want to see how how well you guys do without me. Not that you can't. I'm not saying that you can't do it without. When me. do you When do you leave? I tomorrow. leave tomorrow. You leave tomorrow. I leave tomorrow. And you go straight to Mexico tomorrow. Yes. And you come back when? The following Thursday. A whole seven days in Mexico. A whole seven days. I don't. I don't. Need, I don't even need that much. In time. another country. I don't even need that's that a much time. time. Do you that's have a, long do you have a time. passport? I do. That's a long time. I went to Jamaica for seven. days. Do you days. think it's gonna change you? I don't know. Why would it? You don't think it's gonna change you? Absolutely. What about not. flying? You don't think there's gonna be something that's gonna happen to you in this trip that's going to alter your life for the rest of your life. Don't do anything that's going to damage relationships. Like you have not done? damaging. Not da- I'm not. I'm not saying what? damaging. I'm just saying it's going to alter. Did you just say that again? Say what again? Like I like I did. I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> do we want to bet on this? What about damaging relationships? No, no, no. You blaming me? You just bl- you blamed me like two seconds ago. Nah, I didn't, so you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Mm, I can't foresee anything that's going to do that. Okay. That might ruin relationships, so you can't answer that question, okay. Kyle. All right. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what Juan's doing. That's what Juan. That is what Juan's doing. Yeah. Juan, yo, Juan, don't don't be like Bob. That okay. may be what I'm doing, <laughs> but at a large scale. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm I'm excited though. I'm ex- right. I'm excited. I'm excited so he, no excursions. You're not gonna do any. Of it. You said that. You're I, like, think you I'm should, not, I think you should do it. He said he's not doing anything down there. I think you should do it, dude. Just get me away from work. That's all I want. I That's think, it. I That's think, it. Just being down do there it. is enough. Being down there is enough. What are the excursions? How I don't. I don't know. I don't care to know. I think you should do one. I didn't Absolutely. care to find out. I didn't care to find out. I think you should do one. You're doing one. You're not gonna just be. You're by not yourself. gonna go there for seven days and not do, do one. It. Do you do know one. who I am? You don't think that I can be down there by myself? You definitely can, but you're not going to do it. No, you're, you're a in changed Mexico. man. Am I? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you? What do you see? The we change? talk about this all the time. Yes. Like, yep. I don't know. Yep. I don't know. Can you say you go out more frequent than you ever have in your life? Absolutely, I guess. Thank you. You're, more, you're more outgoing. Yes. You're more adventurous. Yes. Yes. You're a different Alex now. You are. You are. Embrace it. I'm not not yeah. embracing it, but I don't think, I don't see, 
I don't see the same thing that you're seeing as a change. Of course you won't. You're going to see a whole bunch of people having fun, and you're going to be like, Yes. You know what? I'm in Mexico. I want to have some fun. Fuck it. Let me just go out and do this. I'm not, who knows when I'm going to be back? Who knows if I'm ever going to come Listen, back? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that I'm ever going to need to travel after this ever again. What? Who knows if I'm ever going to travel, <laughs> travel ever again? again? Yeah, so I so might as well enjoy do it. I might as enjoy it. Just let you know. Just let you know how my crazy mind works. Mm. Mm. It's going to be fun, though. I'm going to make it fun. Okay. Did yeah. I actually watch Game of Thrones this weekend? Are we about to spoiler? Is this going to be a spoiler alert? It's yeah, like, yeah, because he's trying to make it a spoiler. Yeah, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Why? It, spoiler alert? I caught up. You caught up? Yes. Spo- spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, for real. Huh? He watched like a season every day. <laughs> caught up. Did you, you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why, what were you spoiling? Well, it's Wednesday, so, I mean, <clears throat> they should have watched it by it now. Count, it doesn't count by now? They should, have, they should have watched it by now, no? Okay. No. Endgame doesn't count by now. Okay. Because you said I haven't watched it. Yeah. But, but Game of Thrones does. Okay. Shoot. No, Alex, you shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Which part do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. All right. So, honorable mention. <laughs> We're here. Where is that time? Honorable mentions. Listen, I got. I, I got, just gotta say one thing about Game of Thrones. Please. Arya is. She's. She's the goat. Arya is the goat. She is the goat. She's the goat. She's the goat. You guys were happy that. Did you watch, the one that just happened? Yeah. So we could talk about it. Hmm. You guys were happy that the night. What's his name? Night King. Night Wing. Night King. <laughs> Night King. Night King. You, you guys were happy that he died. Were yes, you, were you excited yes, because about Arya it? killed him. Why? Because uh, <clears throat> I didn't want to see her die. I was excited that Arya killed him. I wasn't happy that he died. No. But I also don't know what that means yet. Yeah. Okay. Like, I was, uh, I, I think when she stabbed him, right, obviously, but like, I didn't expect every easy. person, every dead person to die again. Yeah, they needed to die. Like, that was crazy. It was like a domino effect. Everybody just like. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm beginning to realize a trend with my morbid uh, behavior. We yep. were talking about this prior to the podcast. Another reason why I don't know why you don't watch Game of Thrones. Uh, I I rooted for the Joker and Batman. Yep. I enjoyed Bird Box. Yep. Bird Box. Yeah, <laughs> you enjoyed it. I did. It yep. was it was okay. Do you know why I enjoyed it? Why? Do you know how <clears throat> in every end of the uh end of the world scenario movie Mm -hmm. there's always someone who knows something about something about how to fix it Mm -hmm. there was none of this they didn't fix it there was nothing to fix because we didn't know how and everybody was dying right Mm -hmm. and it was absolutely beautiful right you loved it i loved it Mm -hmm. okay same reason why i love the thanos again i don't know why you don't love game of thrones i watched this episode and i was upset that this guy who's I've been hearing about is like what episode? What did Bub tell you after, or what did Juan tell you <laughs> right after you said, "This is the reason why I don't watch Game of Thrones." What did, what he did said, you "Don't fall in love with any character." You're right. You're right. You're right. I learned because that early they will on. Kill right. <laughs> the character that you love, bro. They You're will. Right. They will kill him. You're right. In the worst way. Like one. Like, at, and it may take eight seasons. Like crazy. <laughs> but they're going to kill him. <laughs> crazy. They're they gonna killed kill the Starks? Him. Like they killed Ned Stark off out the gate. Bro, like he was the man. Like For two episodes. <laughs> like, two episodes. You, you, but you realize early he's the man. The king gave him the hand. Like he There's was the man. There's no way you're going to kill this guy. No way. He, like he didn't make it through the first season. Did hey. you? You seen the tweet of somebody putting up uh, shout out to the Starks? What's her name? Aria, Aria. and Tony. You wouldn't get it because you didn't watch Avengers. But somebody said <laughs> shout out to the Starks. <laughs> Fucking asshole! <laughs> I didn't ruin anything. I didn't ruin word. anything. All right, word. I didn't ruin word. anything. Word. This podcast is whack. <laughs> <laughs> and the relationships, baby. 
Oh. Keeping it, keeping the street going. I still, I still don't think you did. I still think you didn't ruin anything. I, I know I didn't. I don't feel like I did. No, I think th- if the movie's three hours, that one line cannot ruin the whole movie. But people were telling me that, because I was asking. I was like, I said I'm gonna watch it anyway, even if you say th- it ain't worth three hours. Because I want. I know it was, or it was. I've always wanted to see. Anybody says they don't like a movie. Now I want to see why. Yep. Well, now that but, we just said that, Get Out was Get Out. What's the no, What's the new one? Oh, uh, Us. That shit was trash. But was it? I'm sorry. Yes, absolutely. Too many people said that, so I haven't seen it. Oh, it was terrible. I wasn't really like pushing it. to see it either. But neither was I. But, but um, I, with somebody. I ain't gonna lie. It was intriguing. I was like building relationships. <laughs> <laughs> it was intriguing. Mm-hmm. But I was like not mm-hmm. really like energized to see it. But everybody that told me I'd seen Endgame didn't realize they was there for three hours. No, I I, <clears throat> so, I didn't realize I was there for three hours. Me and David said that earlier. But Sean said it's like perfect beginning. They did a good job with the mo- movies. I think are going out of style, and I think they did a good job with this one, dog. Mm. Yeah, we're talk. Definitely got to see that one. I'm gonna. It's definitely a must. Gonna. You and Sean? No. I got to go again and see it because I was. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about Sean. I was upset. Sean, they got sh- my guy. I didn't like it. Shut up. I didn't say who it was. Did you? Did you make who, who then, Alex? They got your guy. Who's your guy? I didn't say who it was. <laughs> I got my guy. He didn't say. He didn't yeah, say. damn. How did you not watch it? Because I wanted to talk about this today. Well, Sean, who, me and, I told you about, we called you on FaceTime. So we talked about this Thanos thing. And that day, I told Sean, we are going to see Endgame together. And that was two weeks before it came out. Yep. Sean said, fuck that. He went and seen it without me. Came home with this look on his face like, what? <laughs> saw it. Can't erase it. I saw it. Can't erase it from my memory. Mm. It's seen. And that's how and I know that's how he was thinking. Mm-hmm. He didn't say it, but I know how yeah, he was thinking. Yeah. Like, what you gonna do? I'll go watch it with you again, Bo. What you gonna do? Will you? I will. Okay. I need to go see it again anyway. Right. No, that means I have to wait till you come back. No, I'm going to see it before you come right, back. On your birthday? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. And happy, I don't know if I can wait that long. Happy birthday, Bo. Spoilers are out there. They are. Oh, you, yeah, you yeah. gotta stay away. Spoilers are out there. I haven't seen them like going crazy yet, but I think by Friday, if I don't go see it, yeah. Oh no, they're out there. I'm not gonna last the weekend. They're already out there. I'm not gonna last the weekend. I've seen a lot uh, of them. Should we? Should we go out for your birthday this weekend? Should we? Yeah. No, it's bad luck. You're getting a text. It's bad luck. It's bad luck. You're getting a personal text. All right, right. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe we should do something. We should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Maybe we'll do it here since you're not here. <laughs> Leave the keys. You wouldn't mind. I mean, while you're doing nothing, <laughs> yeah, we send you Mex- some. Are you in Mexico doing yeah, absolutely nothing? We'll send nothing. you some pictures. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. We should do that. That should do that. Yeah, and that'll be fun. Maybe we'll record. Maybe, maybe be a dope pod. Yeah, maybe, maybe be a new podcast. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, you guys, yeah. This is what we're doing. Yeah. The spinoff. Growing. Yeah. <laughs> we're grown. <laughs> grown. That <laughs> was the growing part. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the spinoff. Yep. I hear you. So, I hear you, fam. <laughs> got it. <laughs> we got sponsors Word. and everything. Yeah. We're just rolling up Word. in here. I got my, my suit and tie. <laughs> no. Go on. It's called grown. It's called grown. It's actually kind of dope. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. We should do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I'm not on it, so I can't do it. I'm not on you it. can be a guest. Nah, fuck that. Oh, you want to be a guest? You want to be a guest? <laughs> like, it's just did me like Dame. Like, it's just Dame me, yo. That's fucked up. Oh, man. Featuring. Yo, what's going on with 50 Cent and... Uh, Kanye? Uh, nope. Oh, who was it, Tiara Marie? Nope. No? Uh, uh, what's Young Buck? Call? Yep. I don't know. It's, it's 50. I don't know. I don't know. You Young Buck owes him money too? Does he? I, I wouldn't doubt think it. So. How would you owe money? 50's out of control. 50's petty, yo. Petty, petty, petty. All right, honorable mentions. What y'all got? I got the Life Kid podcast series. Y'all should check that out. Get y'all life together. Life Kid podcast series where mm. get your lives together that's pretty, that's pretty cool savings investments yeah before i um say mine cool little podcast we wanted to ask you guys this question for a couple of weeks here we go yep 
we had 90 minutes, so we'll, we'll keep it short. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is, <laughs> is shaving your pubes gay? Like manscaping? Yeah. I seen somebody tweet it and then I no. felt a way about it. So now I don't know if I, no, I'm gay. No. I was questioning if I was gay. No. So you did it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like a baby right now? <laughs> oh, man. No. No. No, no, no just, manscaping is a guy. I seen the tweet and it brought me back to a it's time. It's automatically embarrassed. He was like, no, it br- oh. well, yes, because it brought me back to a time when I. If you're young, yeah. If, it, if you're young, yes, though. <laughs> well, here's a PSA for yeah. those who who, sh- who shave. Don't shave with a razor. No, never shave. Okay, with a well, razor. the first time that I did it, wow, I did, that's what I did. You with a razor. <laughs> that's what I did. Man, so the next day, you don't love yourself. <laughs> the next day, I was at work and I'm scratching. I'm scratching like I got crabs. Like if somebody would have saw me, they would have thought I had crabs. That's crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, who the fuck gave me crabs? And it was the. That's crazy. No, listen, you put shaving to- cream. <laughs> is this your place of opening up now like is this what you're gonna be doing what the oh shit so what made you just decide that's to do that crazy huh that's what made crazy. me want to do it Did yeah. you have a mirror how, <laughs> how do you have a how do you have a mirror and like wow. position yourself. Wow. Like what? What did you put your leg on? No, 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 no. There's too no, many no, questions, no, though. No, no, no. Nope. It's honorable mentions. You know what? I don't even have a life kit, mention. man. Life kit to get your life yeah. kit out of the door. I don't even have a. Honorable I was standing mention, on the man. toilet. Y'all been in my bathroom. There's no mirror there, so I was standing on the, the toilet to, to see you. <laughs> <laughs> So honorable mentions. Let me. We'll close it out. We're getting out of here. Oh my bad. Let me. So <laughs> you're standing on the toilet. Oh. oh man. What? This dude. All right. Oh. oh. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a, like I'm so anxious about this plane that this the, the mic today is not affecting me. You're just doing anything. Huh? Yeah. Right. So like I'm comfortable right now. Yeah. You'll do that, but you won't go on an excursion. You baffle me. I baffle myself sometimes. What's the what? I, I what's, see. What's my honorable mention? You're willing to stand on a toilet, this guy. Yep. <sighs> Man, what the fuck was my honorable mention? I just lost it. Oh, that's what it was. Um, this is just for y'all, but I'm gonna say it on the air anyways. <laughs> I want to throw a, a cookout for a Memorial Day, like a big one, like a good one. Word? Word. Like a big one, like a good one? Yeah. What does that mean? Like like your party? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. <clears throat> but the Sunday, not the, not the actual Monday. Like the Sunday, because you know people have to work the next day. That makes sense. So the <clears throat> Sunday of, or before that day, like that's, that's what, I, I just gotta, what I'm planning that's for. That's a big party day. Absolutely. All right. Mm. I like it. Just throwing it out there. I'm with it. Throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. I like it. Maybe, maybe, uh. Is maybe that? We could build some relationships between now and then. What episode is that? That's not seven weeks from now. Eight weeks from now. That's, yeah. That's too it's much. Like, yeah, it's like. It's four minute. weeks from now. Three weeks from now, maybe, yeah. right? Four. <clears throat> we just started, man. It's four. You're right. Four. It's four. You're right. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Shout early. out to May. Shout out to May. Shout out to May. Yo, there were, uh, out of the 30 days in April. 22 of those rained. Yeah, that was some bullshit. Fuck April. Yeah, I just <laughs> that was a bullshit. I'm all about the rain. I love cloudy days. April Fool's but like yo, a too much is too much. That was a long April Fool's joke. Too April much. showers bring May flowers. Yep. Doesn't say it brings the sun, though. <laughs> Doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't. I need that sun right now. We don't now. need sun. Yeah. We need rain. We need yeah. water to grow right yeah. now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna need sun. Shout out to the Tauruses, man. Taurus season. Yeah, I guess. Shout out to y'all. Monday's a holiday. What's Monday? Cinco de Mayo? Oh. Monday. Oh. No, that's Sunday. Monday yeah, is a holiday. Got you. Got you. It's a celebration of Juan. Not Bob. Which one's coming out? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a holiday. All of them. All of them? There's more than two. There's Juan, there's Bob. And then there's the one. Never mind. Yeah, I'm going to chill with all, all three. Yeah. Cabo will be here with me. Yep. I'll be here the following week. 
yep. with you. I might not want to do anything then. Oh, well, you know. You may not have the same energy. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Me and Cabo might have so much fun that I don't need to, you know. You guys can take a lot of pictures, a lot of videos. No, we might keep this a little private. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. I hear you. What do you, you know, maybe we could talk about maybe doing an early pod next uh-huh. month. Facts. <laughs> checking, out, checking out Why Not Wednesdays. Shout out to Why Not Wednesdays. Shout out to Why Not mm-hmm. Wednesdays. Shout out to Phil. Yeah. Big time supporter. Yeah. Go out <laughs> there. Show some love. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. I'll be here in spirit. Yeah, we we probably won't care, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all know what to do. <laughs> Follow, comment, <laughs> like, support, like. It's a dope pod. Cheer. Yeah, man. Like, we'll be back um, next week. Share, you know all that stuff. Subscribe and uh, mm-hmm. safe travels, man. Yeah, safe Thank travels. You. I hope, I hope, I hope there's some life changing shit happens. Yeah, so maybe well, in a positive way. Okay, all right. That's yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was going to Maybe they will. Yeah, I hope so. I know that. I hope so. I know that. Yeah. Alright, we out. Peace. Peace.